finally back out guys finally after this lockdown the COVID-19 pandemic and we're in Talapont forest me, Mark and Di from Camp the Wobbler Dragon we're going to do a wild camp somewhere around this area don't know where yet because the wind is pretty uh, pretty fierce so we're going to take a hike up to the um, Canadian Wellington Bomber Memorial site crash site and then we're going to go from there and see what we're going to do stay with us guys See you on the trail. So this is the start of the walk. Dye's the uh, navigator. Which way are you heading, Dye? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bow in. <laughs> awesome. So I'm guessing we're heading that way then. Yeah, Mary. <laughs> right, who's going in this park yet? Up our hill. Guy's filming a waterfall, Mark's filming a waterfall, and I'm filming Mark and Doy filming waterfall. Currently heads up this hill at the start of the walk from the Blinding Glenny Calf car park and then you can see the top of the hill we've got to get to the top of there and then we're on the ridge then to go around to the crash site. Apologies in advance if there's any wind noise. We're doing our best to er eradicate the noise but it's gonna be pretty imp impossible to be here today because uh, high winds are forecast and there's gonna be a lot of wind on top. So apologies for the windows. It's blowing an absolute hoolie up here. This wind is fierce. Bloody wind up here. It's fierce. Simon and died on me. Look at that for a few. God. So I'm finding this quite tough. All those months of lock lockdown, and I haven't really been anywhere. So it's taking a bit of getting used to coming back a bit on the hills. 
and yeah, it's a great top course. And I hope you hear because the wind is quite fierce. There's Dyer Simon there coming up now. Right, just pulled over. This one is like 15 quid. Out of the wind because there's bloody winds around us up here. But um, we parked there, Blind yeah. Glen. Make the mark, the mark. Car park oh. by the Talabont oh. Forest. Yeah. We've walked up the Beacons Way, Grager Van V. Um, we're here now, so we're going to walk around the Beacons Way, follow it around, around the top, Craig Van Lass. The memorial's there, and we're going we're to cut across. There's a sheep track by here, and we're going to walk straight down to the memorial, which is there. Our navigator is busy plotting the route. Where are we off now, Dan? Are we? Are we? <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong, we're definitely going that way. Up that path there. <laughs> Here's the boys, look. A pair of slow coaches, there's two of them. Oh. It's like three, a pair months, of, three months of lockdown, but it's like a pair of snails, man. Yeah. Come on, when you're there. <laughs> Come on, die boy. The, the twin peaks of Corn D and Penavan. Right then, guys, I'm trying to get out of the wind here a little bit just to show you where we are. Just come along the top of the ridge now and make our way right the way over there. over there somewhere, I haven't been there, Simon has, so we'll try and find them out.
this side. I mean, he's going to pay his respects by putting a cross in the ground. Good lad. A very sombre atmosphere. They're having a square up. We got two sheep down here, they're going mental. I think we've uh, taken their patch. And they're not happy. Now this little spot here, if it was a bit flatter, it would have been a good cam spot, but I think it's a bit, uh, it's a bit uneven to be honest, Mark, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's too bumpy, isn't it? I thought... Up there, it was fine. Comes on, yeah, I thought it'd be flat, but it's not. Imagine if a rock fucking dropped off here. I know. <laughs> I, I was thinking that myself, though, to be honest. Is, I know. We'll stand a chance in the tent. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be crushed. Oh, my nose is just streaming all the time. It's nice to go out the window for two minutes, isn't it? Yeah, nice. Bloody horrendous, man. <clears throat> do you reckon forest camp? I want to go in a forest, I do. In a forest. Get a little wood, wood stove going. You get a bit more coverage off the trees as well. Don't yeah. Blue wet. Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Oh, you never know, you. Blair Witch could be there. Yeah. There's three of us. She might drag me away and you'll probably end up looking for me. <laughs> Watch too many films. Yeah. Imagination is running wild, isn't it? But this would have been perfect. I'll tell you something, oh, if this was flat, it would have been spot on, wouldn't it? If it was flat, yeah. yeah. Unless you want to get a brick in the head of the night. No. <laughs> Second thought, I'll just get out of here then. <laughs> shout, just start screaming and shout then. What do you want to set an avalanche? Vibration signals. Is there an echo around you or Hello! Yeah. Is it? Slightly. Don't do I know. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a landslide. No, you watch. Say hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Step back to see the truth. Of 
Yeah, this spot looks perfect. But we've got one problem. We've got to try and cross the river. And it's not looking easy right now. Maybe that's um, a better option. We'll have a look now. Right, here's the, the treacherous river crossing. <laughs> I made it, although I got a wet foot. Come on, let's give me comedy for comedy gold. Yeah, it's yeah. You got spare socks? I have, I have as well. I have a spare socks. 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 I have that's deeper by there, mind. That's the best place to cross. It's alright, I'll catch you on film, don't worry. <laughs> if you want me to, otherwise I won't. It's mad though, I got a wet foot, but it's drying already. It's making that first move, isn't it? Yeah, that might be all right. It don't look as deep by there. See that green bit with the grass on? It's not slippery, right? So that's gonna be your next move, I reckon. Yeah, just take your time, you'll be alright. Got it? It's a bit wet. Uh, it's alright. <laughs> Bound to get a bit wet, are you? I got to say, lost space rocks in here, innit? Yeah. The trouble with Gore-Tex, once they get wet, well, apparently they've gone dry, isn't it? Oh, has it? It takes, it takes what deeds for them to dry out. You'd be alright, man. Happy days, we all made it. Really? Yeah, man. Right, we're safely over this little river now. And we think we're going to try and get a campsite in here somewhere. This is the Taliban forest. So we couldn't find anything suitable. Up there, it was a bit near the, the water, and even a bit too noisy, but we couldn't find anything flat. So we're going to have a look in here now and see what we can find. Welcome back, guys. We tried plan A, plan B. 
That was plan C. It was too windy on top. Couldn't find anywhere in the woods suitable. Now we're going to our old faithful. The Nayav Reservoir. <laughs> <laughs> That's my tent set up, the REI Co-op Half Dome 2 Plus. First time I used use this tent and uh, it's pretty easy to put up, it only takes a couple of minutes. So there it is. Dice tent there, it's a nature hike. What tent's that, Dain? What, what uh, model is it? Uh, Nature Hike Vic. Nature Hike Vic. Single scheme, one person tent, is it? Yep. Yep. Cool. And um, I'll show you my sleep uh, sleep setup. Right. In the tent we are. I've got the thermo rest. Neo Air X Um Max, I think it is, and it's a regular size. Uh, my sleeping pillow. So like this. It's a Jacala Sweden sleeping pillow, which I've done a review on on YouTube, and I'm using my synthetic bag tonight. So yeah. It's OEX Evolution or Evolution. I think it's a 400. Yeah, a Fathom EV 400. And it's a three season bag and it's a synthetic bag. That'll do me for tonight. And that's it, my sleep system. Well, I don't know. Um, <coughs> Enjoy a nice drink now, it's a long, long hug now, wasn't it? I just turned it off. If I'm doing it, just turned it off. I don't know why I've done it. Right then guys, we've uh, set all the tents up, as you saw earlier. Um, not the uh, the camp spot we wanted, but it's always a good, uh, a good port in a storm. But uh, yeah, you know, so we're settled down now, having a, a drink and a nice uh, chill out. I'm on the Pineapple Milkshake IPA and it's 5.3% volume, very nice. And for tonight's tea, oh, it's lovely and warm. Isn't it? I'm having a backpacker's pantry. I bought this in New York when I was over there in February, and it's um, Kathmandu curry. I haven't got a clue what it's like. It sounds good, anyway. And. Um, I'm going to use my little, my little cosy, my little food cosy which Mark made. You guys, little wood stove, sto stove, stove. Steve. Funny up, funny up, one can. But what a hell of a hike that was. We must have walked about bloody six miles today, maybe oh, longer, nice. probably longer than that. I don't know. How long? How, how far, Mark? We walked, do you reckon? Probably eight or nine. Well, like nine miles. Yeah. Uphill, downhill. Bloody cross hell. water, cross water, through a forest, oh, all, all uphill in a forest. Land and sea. It's just been a cracking day to be a, you know, be fair, but uh, didn't quite go to plan. And there's Di. He's happy, you know. Yeah. I'm He's sat in his healing locks chair. 
I'm sat in my heel and ox chair. And look what I've got. And Mark sat on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the pauper of the, of the wild camping fraternity. Who got a better deal? You lot. Show off. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I tell you what, it's July and I'm wearing a down jacket and a bobble hat. I can't believe it. All the weather we've had on lockdown and uh, now we've got this crap weather. Anyway, Ooh, my jet boil's on the go. I'll make some food and I'll bring you back. Next can up now is the Boston Ooh. Tea Party. And it's uh, Hayes New England Pale Ale. 5.8% volume. Very nice. Max holds on for dear life with his cooker and his, his cup. I think it's a little level and it keeps moving. Yeah. You have to. Um, Gotta be a mat. Yeah, like, back, you know, I keep one behind the back of my ear. Good. Anyway. Let me have it then. The old backpacker's pantry. I think it's ready. I pull up the bag. Katmandu curry. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, that tastes absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what's in there. Well, I know there's peas in there and other stuff, but rice. Looks like carrots. Beautiful. And it's called, made by Backpackers Pantry. American brand. Really nice, really tasty. Right then, guys. All the tents are set up. There's Simon and Dyke, and um, I've got my I've got my EWR outdoor alcohol wood burner going with my Lixada titanium cup and fair dues. The water is just about boiling. It's windy as hell. And it's difficult to get anything to light. <laughs> but yeah, it's getting there. And <laughs> as you see in my last video, I've done a review of this the other day. But um, this is a review of it in the field. So far, so good. It's, um, yeah, I'm very pleased with it. Oh, that's the one from New York. Yeah. The same as Simon. I'm having Katmandu curry. What do you say? Serves two people there. Backpackers pantry. <laughs> <laughs> and once my um, water's boiled, I'm going to stick it in there. I'm going to put it in my new <laughs> food cosy. Oh, yeah. Then guys, we're chilling out now with a couple of cans. Uh, the weather's shit. That's an endless day. Blowing a royal gale. I'm on the bow. Simon's on the fucking. He fell off his chair. That's a bit Florida vice. Florida vice. On the adventure food. Chicken curry. 
head in the distance there. You've got the twin peaks of um, Corn D and Van. And yeah. it's absolutely freezing. Yeah, I know. Apart from the weather, <coughs> the wind I should say. Pretty good night. Eternity. Notice. Dim tan. No fire. As they say in Wales. Dim tan. We don't have fires because it scorches the ground. Know what I mean? <laughs> right, hello guys. You've had a great night. Me, Di, Simon. We've had a few beers, a uh, bit of food, and we're going to go to bed now. <laughs> so, I'll bid you good night and see you in the morning. Good night for now. Bye bye. Yeah, if you've seen one of, our, one of the videos, I've done a review on this tent. But it's the first time I've actually used it. And uh, you see it's all, it's just all mesh on the inside. And there's not much protection from the wind really. There's no condensation in it. So that's a plus point. But um, yeah, you definitely feel it's a bit chillier than, than the other tent I normally use, the Fjall the Rave and the Bisco. As a four, three season, stroke four season tent. And I think we would have been a lot warmer in there than, than in here last night, to be honest with you. Overall, I'm pleased with it. It's a three, se it's a three season tent. But with all the mesh, it just makes it a bit more chilly, to be honest. Yeah, as Mark said yesterday, this was plan C. We didn't plan to come here, but it was a bit of a backup plan because we couldn't find anywhere else to camp, so this place never uh, disappoints. Yeah, it's good, Joy. And overlooking, uh, we're overlooked by Penavan in the morning. Hi Craig, aka the Craggle, if you're watching. Um, 
memu called our uh, nicknames our coffee the uh, the Kermaride coffee because uh, I used to use two Nescafe sachets but now it's still called called the the Kermaride coffee but now I'm using these um, Taylor's coffee bags and um, they're so good you only basically need one bag so there you are Craig if you're watching it's still called the Kermaride coffee and um, a bit of a shout out here again if you want to watch his channel he's called the Craggle and uh, he's on YouTube as well so uh, check him out take care Craig all the best right then welcome back guys welcome back to the breakfast area on the menu this morning we got Kit Kat Chunkies couple of um, Taylor's coffee bags we got Rich Italian Flying Start and I got this this morning it's an action pack all day breakfast so I'll give that a go and let you know what it's like the water on the go. Dodge brought me uh, sticks. So yeah, a bit better than last night. I kept going out. Right, water's boiled. I think I'm gonna have a flying start. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this now. What you gotta do? Comes with this heat pack, spoon, and the right amount of water. So what you do? I'm trying to fill this end of it. The bag. What's it feel like? Our water in. I'm assuming. I don't know. Well, it comes with the, the, the meal, right? Yeah. yeah. And the water must activate the heat pack on the back. Ah. Right, there's my all day breakfast. Yeah, I'm too much water in here now, mate. Missing the level there, that, that's our, I think it was our lane today, innit? It's on your side, innit? It's our lane today. So let's give this a go. Hello, guys, welcome back to camp. We're all packed up now, ready to head home, as you can see. As per usual, leave no trace. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.